Good question here. He says, do you think Trey Lance is there? Do we take him? Personally, I think they're not going to take Trey Lance, in my opinion. I think what they would do is probably do a trade back scenario. In my Like a team like Washington football team or another team that's really eyeing to get a quality quarterback would trade up with the Detroit Lions. We trade back and get some quality picks. I personally don't think they're going to go quarterback. Cy, what do you think, man? If Trey Lance is there, he is a spectacular talent. Well, again, I mean, it depends on who else is on the board. Uh, I definitely don't want to draft Trey Lance with the seventh overall pick. I'd be looking to uh, trade down. But if if it's a selection, we have to make a selection, uh, I'm a pass. It's going to be an easy pass for me. Uh, I get the kids upside, but I'm just not a fan of drafting uh, quarterback controversies. I've said that before, and I'll s stick with that. As soon as you draft that kid, any quarterback with that kind of potential is going to make Jared Goff look over his shoulders. And I'm not trying to test that man's metal or his character. If we're going to commit to him, let's commit to him and not draft a quarterback with the number seventh overall pick. Go Lions got a good question. He's a member of mine. He says, what are we looking at for in round two? I'm going to tell you this. <laughs> if we don't take a, li a linebacker in round one, I have a big time feeling they're taking a linebacker in round two it's going to be one of those positions if parsons goes in the first round they're probably not going linebacker there maybe wide receiver offensive line but if they do not go linebacker round one i would expect a linebacker during round two yeah absolutely i would think maybe like a safety as well it, it all depends on who drops um they're probably going to go best player available wide receiver linebacker who it, who is your guy that you're going to take in the first uh, for the person who asked the question. But I do have a question for the panel, if that's okay. I can ask after this if you want to announce that. We got some super chats here, folks, from Jimbo. $5. I would get Scary Terry before Parsons because of the character issues. Offensive wow. line, S, safety, safety, <laughs> wide receiver, wide receiver, cornerback. I'm not taking him up first. Sorry. <laughs> I'm, not I'm not a huge Parsons fan, but I wouldn't go that that's, far. That's bad. That's kinda, Jimbo. That's kind of off the edge. Hey, we all have our different thoughts. Jimbo, right. hey, he wants to give his thoughts, and but he, he doesn't like character issues, and some people are <laughs> character type of guy. Jimbo G, he is dropping it like it's hot. $5, <laughs> offensive line at 7 I Hey, look, if they go Panay Sewell, I'm happy, man. I mean, if they stay at 7, no doubt about it. Slater, I'm happy. Yeah. Wide receiver later what rounds because they're deep draft. I don't <laughs> mind taking – he ain't going to be there. I don't mind taking a linebacker. It better be a good one. Yeah, we, linebacker's got to well, be addressed. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it'd be nice. Quick, fast, in a hurry. But there's a lot of good second-round linebackers that's going to be there. Nick Bolton, Jabril Cox. Who knows, man? Zayvon Collins may even be there. There's a lot of quality ones. Um, but I, I like your sentiment there, Jimbo G. And no, when it comes to tone, I don't believe your boy is going to be available at 7. I think he's probably going to go to Atlanta. We have a new member, David Webster, just hey. became a member hey, of the channel. Hey, I appreciate you, man. And uh, we're going to be doing a a members-only mock draft in two days on my channel. Another $10 super chat by Frog Crop. Will Perryman be Goff's golden nugget? Along with people, they're not talking much about Swift and Williams much. They're going to be busting up defense. Can't wait for Williams to bring the great energy. Oh, no doubt about it. Williams Max. and Swift are going to be pounding that rock, and it's going to be a difference maker. Dern, what do you think about these one-two combinations we got there? I'm not quite sure if per Perryman will be that golden nugget. Um, what are we going to do with the draft? If, if we draft a pretty good wide receiver, then Perryman's probably going to be your slot mixed in with Cephas. Because, well, I guess it depends who you draft. But yeah. if you get like a Bateman, he's going to be your outside, and, but he can mix with your slot. Are you going to get an Amon Ross St. Brown where you can put in anywhere? Um, are you going to take a Waddle, which can be slot or outside? It just depends on who you draft. But we know that they're going to get a wide receiver. <laughs> no doubt about it. Um, I think, yeah, I think Perryman will be a guy. I think it's going to be a wide just receiver. Just a guy. <laughs> So all he's going to be is a guy. Football, though, folks, I think we're transitioning from a team that was pass happy to more a run balanced football team, and that's what you're kind of kind of see a little bit with obviously play action deep pass. In my opinion, Cy, what do you think? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry about that. What was the question? 
I have my son talking. <laughs> That's no problem. We're just going to go to the next trade. question here. Yeah. ISN, can we trade with the Jets at 23 to get more picks in this draft or the yeah. next draft? I'm not sure who the Jets would want to get. Man, that would be nuts if they had two they would top 10 try picks to get, like that. Uh, yeah, they would probably try to get an offensive lineman to protect, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, Zach Wilson. That yeah. would be crazy. Mackay Beckman on one side and then Slater on the other. Yeah. If you don't know, Troxel Sports Talk loves offensive linemen. If he had Facts. six picks in this year's draft, all six would be offensive linemen. Five. Five. Line man. five. I want to make sure I have the best five alive. Oh, yeah. And also, he would make sure to get a, a Nick Bodden's replacement at fullback. Oh, well. There we go. We got another super chat. This super chat heavy today. I appreciate you. One pride more I look in this draft class. I think quarterbacks will be there at seven. If we trade back, I like Zayvon Collins at linebacker. What do you think, Eric? Zayvon Collins is a fantastic linebacker. No doubt about it. And we all love Zayvon Collins. Actually, Troxel Sports Talk is a big fan of Zayvon. Talk about him a little bit, Trox. Hey, you know, if the top two offensive linemen are not there, even at seven, I am drafting Zayvon Collins. That dude can at cover... Seven. Eve at seven. I'm I, mm. hey, people are gonna hate me for saying that, but you know what? It's time to call it like it is. Because hey, <laughs> hey, we should get more picks. He's hey. probably the best middle linebacker in this class. He and on top is. of that, and on uh, top of that, he reminds know. me a lot of DeAndre Levy. We have had a gaping hole to replace DeAndre Levy. How gaping? True. I mean, hey. The Grand Canyon is going to look small. <laughs> yeah, All I can say bad. is, Trox, is you can trade back, pick up extra picks. So <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I love I love Zayvon Collins. Shout out to T.A. Noble Sports. He's the one who put me up on Big him. shout out. And I seen, I seen the film. I said, hey, film don't lie, and that dude needs to be a Detroit Lion. But I have had some mock drafts where I got Rashawn Slater and Zayvon Collins in the first two rounds. Avery Giovanni Spirit of Detroit podcast. Man, Again, you the man. Dropping to four ninety nine. This guy's going nuts here. Get the likes up, people. These are the smartest guys and the best guys on YouTube. P.S. I appreciate I'll try that. to collaborate with all you. Yeah, hey, you appreciate will. Appreciate that. We are. You already know. You already know. We talking on the side. You're gonna see. You're all. <laughs> if you guys aren't ready for this draft on my channel live for round one, we're gonna be live here with the NFL draft in the panel. And we're going to be talking about all things Detroit Lions and what's going to be taking place. If you want to have some fun, make sure you are there. It's going to be an epic show of epic proportions. Mike, do you think we will get Stenberg to play guard next year? This is going to be interesting because this is all about the what is Halapludi Vati Vaitai going to do? That is the yeah. question here. If he is trash... Stenberg can Stenberg up and step up. <laughs> I think it's possible. Look, he's nasty, right? That's that's what we got him for, Cy. Yep, I agree 100%. I mean, he's a guy that didn't really get a chance, so I think you plug him in at plug and play at right guard, let him do what he does. I mean, he's not much of a pass blocker, but he definitely is a role great and uh, right, right guard, so I like to see him play personally. Yeah. Do you think 6'4 is too tall for middle linebacker, or is Bolton, who the same size as Raquan Smith, will be the Bears linebacker coach a better option? Do you think no. that's too tall, Mark? You lo you're big into linebackers. Do you think it's too yeah, tall? Yeah, I'm big into linebackers. No, I don't think I don't think uh, six foot four is too big at all, man. They had guys like uh, who was the kid from the Bears years ago, the white kid. Can't think of his name right now. Erlacher. 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 He was like six four, six five, and he was a stud, man. Um, you know, you got that length, man. That's good to be six four. There's Who, no who's six four now? Uh, I think Bolton Blake is. Bolton's Bolton six foot. No, no, Bolton's only six foot. Collins is six four. Zayvon Collins. Zayvon Collins oh, okay. is six four. Okay. Dylan Moses is six three. So, like, they're all kind of big guys. Zayvon so, has know. the speed to back it up, though. B. Taylor got a great question. question here. What are you guys worried if they take fields that he's got the epilepsy condition? No, I talked about this earlier offline. No, I don't think so. You've never he never had an issue in college yeah. playing the game. So why would he all of a sudden now I would not have an issue with it um if the Detroit Lions selected uh their Justin P. Fields as their quarterback of the future. Didn't the rest of his family members get over theirs as well? So I mean, why wouldn't he? 
Yeah, because it's something you can grow out of, right? Yep. Yeah. So, yeah. So it, it shouldn't be that big of a concern. Mm -hmm. As long Let's, as he's safe, you know, I, I bring him in if if he's available. Take your meds. Yeah. That's it, man. <laughs> take Mike, your meds. why do take you your... not pick Vera Tucker at right guard for all of your mock drafts? Well, we invested fifty-five million in a guy who's supposed to be our, our right tackle, <laughs> and now he's going to be playing guard for us. So they better utilize his services, and we got Jonah Jackson, so I don't see there's a spot for... Yeah, and we got a guy waiting in the wings, too. We got yeah. uh, uh, Stenberg waiting in the wings as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Boston Turds. What? <laughs> what? Boston for Turds. investing $55 million on a right tackle oh, that's now going to okay. pay... I got uh, Yeah, thank you, Boston Turds. Right. What do you Wait, think of a song I thought he had 30 That's mil. It was a $55 billion contract, all, I think, all together or something around something there. Something like that, yeah. A lot Tone, of money, too much money. What do you yeah. think of Asante Samuel Jr.? I don't like him. Um, I know a lot of people want to put him in the slot just because he's um, kind of short, but um, he plays bigger than his size, which is what you want to see when you draft, um, which you want to see because it. It's going to help you determine how he's going to translate to be an outside corner. Um, pretty good athlete. Only problem, only only thing that's going to hurt him is his draft class is just full of talented corners. Yeah, yeah. His daddy yeah. was good, man. His daddy was a good ball yeah. player, man. Very good. Yeah. I, I kind of liken Asante Samuel Jr. Uh, my my personal comp, sort of Denzel Wardish, uh, undersized, mm -hmm. feisty corner. Uh, with a lot of speed, so I don't know if he'll be as good as Denzel Ward started out, but uh, that's my comp for him personally.